What's up, YouTube? It's your boy G Money. I'm winning, we winning. If you woke up today, you winning. And I'm back with another tutorial video. I'll teach you guys how to get defensive stopper and pick dodger. These badges are very, very effective. Please get these badges if you have any type of mob play to play any type of defense. It really helps you because defensive stopper helps you like really contest on defense when you like somebody's putting up the ball, you're playing defense, it will always pop up. So please get this badge. For this defensive stopper, all you have to do is do 150 shot contests and 50 fast break defense. So basically, you have to stop the fast break. You most likely get that badge within like two to three games. Most is five. With this technique, if you put on 12 minutes, you can get it like in two to three games. And pick dodge, all you gotta keep doing is running into screens, and eventually you end up getting it. You probably get it in one or two games. You probably get it in one game. All you gotta do is keep running into screens. And I'm gonna show you all my badges. If you need help any with any of these badges, just comment below. And you already know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop this video for y'all. And y'all see how much badges I have? I have 42. I think I might have the most in the 2K community. My badges just keep going and coming and coming. Every game I play, I just get a new badge. I don't know how. But you know, that's how I know the grind is real. But anyway, like I said, make sure you put it on 12 minutes. Like I'm going to show you right here. Put it on 12 minutes and put it on Hall of Fame. Because Hall of Fame, the computer actually calls for screen. So I hope this video helps. So for this method, like I showed you guys in a rim protect and a chase down artist video, you will have to change the camera view and you will have to turn it off, on and off the reverse angle and you will have to turn off auto flip because for this method, you will have to get back on defense really fast. Like I showed you guys in a rim protect and a chase down artist video, but it's not the same. It's a little similar though. So there's two ways you get good shot defense. It's either sag off your opponent and let the AI keep passing it to them and you close out on a jump shot to get an easy good shot defense. Or you can do it the rim protector way method. It's about throwing the court back, ball back court. You don't have the time, the defense, or nothing the time. All you got to do is run down, run down court and play good defense. Just run down court and play good defense. Get in front of your opponent. You do not have the time, your block, or nothing. You just play run down court and get good defense. This method works very easily once you learn how to throw the ball back court very easily. You will get at least 50, 60 good shot defenses in one game. And I promise you, if you have it on 12 minutes, you will get this badge very, very easily. All you have to do is run down court. You don't have the time to just run down court and play good defense. Just play good defense. Just run in front of your opponent while he's shooting the ball. You feel me? And this method also works for stopping fast breaks. That's why I love this method. All you have to do is run down court, like I told you, and play good defense of your opponent. But hopefully you like stop the fast break and make him reset like the whole offense. When he, he, he's gonna wait for like his whole team to come down court, like I'm about to show you in this video right here. Just play good defense. Oh damn, this thing ain't doing shit. That's good. That's for good shot defense. But anyway, <laughs> like I said, throw it back court and run down court chasing after the nigga. And then like stop him from playing like for putting up any type of shot. And then we'll get stop fast break. And that will contribute to the defensive stopper. You have to do that 50 times. 50 times. 50 times. And for good shot defense, I'm going to tell you again, all you have to do is do it 150 times to contribute to defensive stopper. This method is very easy, like I'm showing you guys. Once you guys perfected how to throw the ball back court, this method will become very easy for you guys. And you will get defensive stopper very easy. I know everybody wants defensive stopper in my play because that badge right there is very effective. It's good to have because if you're going to have that badge... It's gonna be easy for your opponent to score on you. Very easy. It's like they shoot, like shoot like a jump shot. It's basically like no one's there in front of them, so they're gonna be e like capable of making that shot easily. So I recommend getting this badge for all of your my players because this badge is very effective on the court. The only badge like in this video that like is easily to get, but like it's hard like to do. It's pick dodging because you have to actually wait for the AI to set a screen for the person you're guarding. And sometimes they don't like setting screens unless you're like a point guard or a fucking a shooting guard. You feel me? But I hope this method worked for you guys. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitch. And keep subscribing and liking the videos, guys. I really appreciate all the support you guys are giving me. I'm going to keep grinding and showing you guys how to get badges. If you need any help to get any other badges, just comment below, all right? It's your boy G Money, and I'm out.